Some dreams never come true, even when you wish upon a star. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 canceled Disney projects. You know, Dumbo, we gotta get an idea. Not just any idea, something colossal. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're taking a look at Disney projects that were going to be made but got scrapped entirely. We've excluded projects that evolved into other things, as well as movies that other studios got to first. We're also leaving out short subjects like the cancelled Princess Academy. Number 10. DuckTales Film Series DuckTales remains one of the most creative, action-packed adventures Disney ever released on the small screen. So it only seemed natural to bring Scrooge McDuck and his nephews to the big screen. I got a wish for a million wishes! Get serious, that never works. While DuckTales the movie Treasure of the Lost Lamp has gained something of a cult following in the early 21st century, it was intended as the launching point for a DuckTales film series. Upon release, however, the film didn't exactly leave Disney swimming in gold coins. Since the first movie was generally viewed as a box office disappointment, future installments were scrapped. I'm no letting this wee gold mine out of me sight. We might not have gotten a film franchise, but at least DuckTales will live on through its 2017 television reboot. Are you really our uncle? How old are you? You used to be a big deal. Whatever happened to you? Number 9. The Gremlins <laughs> Cute. <laughs> to be clear, this has no relation to the 1984 horror comedy Gremlins. Rather, in the 1940s, Disney wanted to adapt a story by Roald Dahl entitled The Gremlins, which followed a group of mischievous beings that tear apart British planes, eventually teaming up with the Royal Air Force to take down Hitler. That's what I prefer. The English what I prefer. Disney published The Gremlins as a promotional children's book, but the film itself failed to launch. Copyright issues seemingly killed the project. Although it likely didn't help that Warner Brothers released a similar cartoon entitled Falling Hair around the same time. Could that have been a gremlin? Nevertheless, the gremlins have popped up in other media, including the epic Mickey video games. I don't understand. He told me no one could defeat me. Number 8. Darkwing Duck the Movie Darkwing Duck, when there's trouble you call me Duck. DuckTales wasn't the only Disney afternoon show intended to receive the silver screen treatment. There was also talk of a feature film about the terror that flaps in the night, aka Darkwing Duck. I am the jailer who throws away the key. I am... Feeling really stupid. This project certainly would have invited plenty of fun ideas. Just imagine Darkwing, Goslin, and Launchpad going up against the Fearsome Five in the ultimate battle of good versus evil. This is the happiest moment of my life. Since DuckTales the movie didn't rake in big bucks, though, any hope for Darkwing Duck the movie was quickly erased. Of course, now that superhero movies are all the rage and Disney owns Marvel, we'd give anything to see Darkwing join forces with the Avengers or the Big Hero 6 team. Ready? And... Dive! Number 7. Frady Cat Ron Clements and John Musker cemented their place in history after directing The Little Mermaid and Aladdin. In 2004, they were set to direct the computer-animated film Frady Cat. Satirizing Alfred Hitchcock thrillers, the story followed a house cat who's wrongfully accused of a crime. Think the 39 Steps meets Nine Lives. Alas, the setup was deemed too obscure, and David Staten, who was president of Walt Disney Feature Animation at the time, pulled the plug. Clements and Musker subsequently resigned from Disney in 2005, but CCO John Lasseter welcomed them back the following year. They went on to direct The Princess and the Frog and Moana, but it appears Frady Cat is dead and buried. Are you afraid of it? No. Hiawatha This film would have centered on the Native American leader who co-founded the Iroquois Confederacy. Hiawatha was also a follower of the Great Peacemaker a spiritual leader who helped bring the Iroquois peoples together. On an artistic level, the movie would have taken a page from Fantasia. Instead of several segments, though, there'd only be one storyline. 
Of course, Fantasia wasn't the biggest hit upon release, making Hiawatha a risky venture. Originally scheduled to come out in 1949, the project slipped through the cracks, as Disney shifted focus to stories like Cinderella, Alice in Wonderland, and Peter Pan. The studio would explore Native American culture over 40 years later in 1995's Pocahontas. Our people look to her for wisdom and strength. Someday, they will look to you as well. Number 5. Yellow Submarine We all live in a yellow submarine, yellow submarine. Like many other motion-captured animated features, Disney's A Christmas Carol generally split people down the middle. Still, the 2009 film was a relative box office success, giving Image Movers Digital some breathing room. One of the projects they had lined up was a remake of the 1968 animated musical Yellow Submarine. With director Robert Zemeckis at the helm, this 3D computer animated feature would have included 16 Beatles songs and a promising cast. Carrie Elwes as George Harrison? Yes, please! As you wish. Alas, Disney cancelled all the projects they'd been developing with Image Movers Digital following the box office disaster Mars Needs Moms. What the heck does that mean? With everyone abandoning ship, Yellow Submarine was left dead in the water. What else can be said except hello, goodbye? You say goodbye, and I say hello. Number 4. Dumbo 2 Throughout the mid-90s and early 2000s, Disney released numerous sequels to their animated classics, many of which were sent straight to home video. One sequel that never quite took flight was Dumbo 2. The story was to follow the titular elephant and several circus friends as they get lost in the big city. The film would have introduced new characters while also providing details about Dumbo's father. A preview of the planned sequel was even featured on the original film's 60th anniversary DVD. You ought to be ashamed of yourselves. In 2006, however, John Lasseter was appointed as Walt Disney Animation Studios' chief creative officer, and he officially ceased production on Dumbo 2. The story is about friendship and parental love, and that there truly is no place like home. Number 3. Newt Sometimes great minds think alike. With Oscar winner Gary Rydstrom directing, this proposed Pixar film told the story of a couple of blue-footed newts. One's male, the other's female, and they're both the last of their kind. To save the species, they must overcome their differences and bond. Now we know what you're thinking. Isn't that a lot like Blue Sky's 2011 animated feature Rio? Well, yeah. And it didn't take long for Pixar to notice the similarities. Very, very funny. Real mature. Granted, this wasn't the first time a Pixar project drew comparison to a rival animation studio. Remember when A Bug's Life and DreamWorks Ants came out the exact same year? Regardless, Pixar apparently felt it was best to cancel Newt. Number 2. Roger Rabbit the Toon Platoon Okay, nobody move! We haven't gotten a follow-up to Who Framed Roger Rabbit, but people have certainly tried. In fact, Disney once had a prequel in the works called Roger Rabbit the Toon Platoon. Set in 1941, the movie was going to show how Roger met his future wife Jessica. He would also go looking for his parents, revealing that his father was Bugs Bunny. Me. What's up, Doc? Jumping without a parachute? Kinda dangerous, ain't it? Yeah. Eventually retitled Who Discovered Roger Rabbit, the project and its comedic depiction of Nazis caused Spielberg to walk. Then the test footage performed poorly. Since then, there have been various attempts to rework the story and get the film greenlit. Yet we still find ourselves asking, where is Roger Rabbit? Okay, wise guy. Where's the rabbit? I am seen him. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. He's trying to say bird. Say bird. Burr. Bird. Burr. Uh-uh. Flying is not merely some crude mechanical process. <clears throat> it is a delicate art, purely aesthetic. Poetry of motion. Feeling funny, are we? Still. I'd better not leave that one on its own. Someone might notice it. Oh. Oh. Wouldn't have a tummy ache, would we? Number one, the search for Mickey Mouse. <laughs> to commemorate Mickey Mouse's 75th birthday, Disney planned to develop an ambitious movie crossover. After Mickey is mouse-napped, Minnie hires Basil of Baker Street to track him down and set out on a search. Perhaps a closer inspection will tell us something. 
Along the way, they cross paths with Alice, Aladdin, Peter Pan, and numerous other Disney icons. The film was ultimately considered too gimmicky and complex, however, and Disney decided to produce the straight-to-video Mickey Donald Goofy, The Three Musketeers, instead. Together we'll save the princess or die trying! Of course, if you think about it, the premise has a fair amount in common with the video game Kingdom Hearts. And no one would ever dream of calling that franchise overly complex or gimmicky. Right? Now, Sora, let's close this door for good! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.